Uh, in the last episode, we were. We were. Dealing with stuff with, uh, let's see. Lamar, Chop, our guy, you know, he got caught. We're chasing now uh, with Chop. So. Menopause. Okay. MS. Car. Right, let's go to Michael's house. Next episode. Let's see what the hell you want or got for us. Um, Turn that damn thing shit off. What's cracking, Frank? Nope. Go to that point. There you go. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I mm. got you, dog. I want to take care of Chop. Oh. That's in my own car, yep. Damn, yeah, that's in that too. Can't turn right. I'm not, can you fix my car? Ooh! I killed it. It's my car, bro. Damn. Guys, keep hitting shit. That's what we got for me. Oh, fuck! This has got to stop through. happening to me. An hour to fuck my wife? Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the brick in my bed. <laughs> Bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it, I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! You okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coach? Aw, oh, that's bullshit. God damn it, girl. That's fucked up, man. You risk dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, dude almost got away, man. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snot, and a fucking cliche. He went left up here, dog. Why? Not so bad, damn truck. He ain't slipping this noose. Somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Ah, the fuck is he? God damn. Boom. Damn, can you just keep hitting shit? It's this track here. Hey, you know one of these fucking houses? Yeah, keep your eye out. You left this car. Check it out. Little freaks up there. Look. Oh, shit, Coach doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea, man! Banging married women's a hobby, not a fucking profession! Is that There's Michael? a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? 
Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand! Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand! On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud! We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey, wait! You got the wrong idea mm -hmm. now? Whoa! Here we go! Ha ha! Let's see what happens! Oh, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Man, fuck the drop! Man, I think that shit's coming down, man! Oh, hell yeah, homie! He know what time it is! Do it, man! Fucking do it! Oh! Fuck. fuck that shit up. Yeah! Fuck! Come on! Fuck, man! Fuck! Oh, we did it! Fuck his ass! Yeah, fuck him! But was we really trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson! Now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no house fires back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Oh, you bet to Michael's house. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo! Fuck you! Shit! We got some heavies on us, homie. You kidding me? Yeah, can you do something? I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. You got a piece. Now's the time to use it. Go, 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 go. We got a book, man. Go. All right, all right. There you go. Trust me, we handled it. Whoever the fuck Martin Madrazo is, 
I can't I've grab it all. Worse. Go. We just handled a few low ranking clans. We sit on it, we see what's going on. What happens? Kid, there's no use second guessing. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Frankie. License. Now, Franklin. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now maybe give him a little of the background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, got a question for you. Oh. What did you put an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? Oh. Uh, I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I was thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> well, now you're going to baseball, but Natalia hey. will need a hotel while you finance the rebuild, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> of course. Great. Dang. Spin That's on it. Nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. Oh, Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Shit. Got down on him or something. Hit by the baseball bat. Mm. Poor Michael. Mission passed. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Hmm. <laughs> That's my car. Turn it off. Try to turn it off. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, mm. you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon. Can't drive it all. Yeah, 
this out. Okay. wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. Are you back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. Well, I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angrily decomposing in Los Santos with a shrink and a wife who don't love you no more. Well, <laughs> since you put it like that... Shut up a minute. I'm getting an iPhone alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. Mm. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by but... outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? I'm about to get that white collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mickey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45 year old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back in social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll, I'll find something. Just like the old days. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That'll be fun. Pull it. I was to that car, that truck over, but fuck it.
<laughs> he pooted. The cat pooted. The fuck? Ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky, youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. <laughs> of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Hmm? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Come here, guys. See what I can do. This one. Okay. Just making sure. Buy a suitable outfit. as youthful as you're gonna get. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Thank Bye. you. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the interview. Right ass damn car. Michael, I'm all dressed up. Now you want to run me through this thing? The prototype is somewhere in the Life Invader office. Find it and fit it with the device in your bag. They just gonna let me in? Why wouldn't they if you look the part? Hang around till someone opens the door and act entitled. Fine. Oh shit. Damn, I was hard. Oh, a hard ass bush. Damn. Red light. PM's preaching for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, you know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> We're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you? Yeah, I think so. 
I, I, I tea temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm totally becoming a tech evangelist when the big boy's best. Maybe not even tech. I'll evangelize anything. Even evangelizing. Hmm. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. A terrible back. Oh shit. Ultimate gaming PC setups. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. This oh, is a filthy hard drive, bro. Ah, uh, got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. I'll close the pop-ups, see what I can do. Your son codes? Start him early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. There you go. How about I run the antivirus software? And we scan. Scan the computer. There it goes. You want to take a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. Give me a second, will you? And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly safe for work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the phone. <laughs> Oh my. You did it. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sit, 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 sit. Foot bang, dig fast. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Some a-hole drank my effing head milk. There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it. Hold on, I'll buzz you out. in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Back time, my friend. Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is oh. rigged. Hey, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. What? Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 what? years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey. I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero looks good and defeats evil. Ah, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. Sign my car. Uh -oh. oh my god, you guys are so lame! Out. No! I'm watching Fame or Shame! Oh, fucking tits!
the most racist guy in America. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to uh -oh. the stage. Oh. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carroll. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. And we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14.4 years? That's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Today, right here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computerized device. Now you're going to be able to stay docked 24-7. On the bus, you can dock. On the subway, stay docked. You can be docked in at home. And at the same time, you're docking with some kids at the public pool. Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to dock with me. <sighs> Oh. oh Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 Let's... No, 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 no. Whoa! That was heavy. Are you watching the news? I don't have to. I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right. Hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take a look. Well guys, um, that's it. That's for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna do all that. All we're gonna do is, you know, every mission, you know, not mission or whatever. But next episode won't be, it won't be long. So make these fast, do whatever, and see you guys next week. Peace.